So you just seen a video that explains how to start a streetwear brand at home. Now you're interested and you're ready to get your first heat press machine and vinyl cutter from Amazon. Now that you've gotten all of the machines out of the way, you're ready to start ordering some blank t-shirts from JiffyShirts.com. Most likely Gildan, but wait, 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 I almost forgot. You came up with this unique brand name with this unique brand design. Now that you've gotten everything you needed from the heat press, vinyl cutter, vinyl supplies, t-shirts, your unique brand design with your unique brand name, now you're ready to start making your first few shirts, giving one to your significant other and maybe some to your friends and family to promote. So now you're ready to go public. You decide to start posting your shirts on Instagram in hopes that people will like the shirts and give you feedback that you're looking for. Two weeks later, you only got 10 to 25 likes. Now you're asking yourself, why nobody liking my post? It took time, patience, and money to create these shirts. Now you're convincing yourself you got a dope brand and everyone else is just hating on you. But in my opinion, the most important method you left out was finding your targeted audience. Now understanding this method can help you create better designs for your streetwear brand. So it's important to know these key things. Age group, where do they like to shop? their likes and dislikes, what relates to them, things that they can relate to, almost anything that can help you create the most relatable brand that speaks to that targeted audience. For example, Nick was going through a mental state when he founded the brand Anti-Social Social Club, a brand that targeted an audience that related to his pain and struggle. Now understanding this example will help you search for that audience to create a brand that relates to their values. Now some of the best places to find that audience are places like Facebook groups, discords, reddits, you know, just to name a few. Think of a niche that could probably be serviced and look for that niche within any of those groups, whether it's Facebook, Discord, or Reddit. Now creators, I hope you all are gaining some type of value from this content. And if you are, leave a comment down below. Now understand finding that audience is not something that's gonna happen in a day. It does take time. Make sure you're studying that niche that you're servicing. Get to know your audience, ask questions, get more familiar with them. So that way you'll create better images, a better brand, that services them there are different groups that are out there that you can check out and see if you can service them when it comes to creating a streetwear brand merch line or t-shirt side hustle